Well, cool. Um, unless there's anything else you want to mention, why don't we get in the main topic? Let's, where I feel like Tom and Matt are just itching to, to <laughs> burst out these ideas. Um, so why don't we get into it? So uh, just a reminder, what we what we this is an idea that we've kicked around just the show host here. I know Matt's pretty passionate about it. Um, Tom has some great ideas. Um, things that, you know, we've all we were all collecting, and we you know we love we love Mega Constructs and the sets that they put out, but there there are still some that we haven't seen that we want. Um, give it to us right like maybe you know use this as your your um you know sounding board and uh all these ideas that we have pent up that we want to see let's get those out so we're gonna go around the horn and we all wrote down five ideas that we would love to see what we'd love to purchase <laughs> we'd love to be created and um yeah we'll we'll go around and, and share ideas in as much as detail as possible um you know whether you know what game it's from. You know we'll, we'll talk about obviously the set, any figures, any other nuances that we'd love to see. We'll take a stab at the price point, but you know, <laughs> who knows? Um, yeah. So this will this will be a, f- a fun conversation from here. Let's start with. I feel like Tom's got some good stuff just brewing. <laughs> so um, I don't know if you guys ordered yours. So save you save your last one. You know your best one for last if you can. Um, and then, oh, another new little nuance. As we go around, if you have one that's similar, so you know, if if Matt has one that's similar to, to the to, Tom's first one here, then just kind of chime in and say, oh, I had that one on my list too, and here's here's what I thought about it. So this will be this will be fun to go around the horn. Tom, what do you have to share? Okay, so I'm gonna start straight off the bat with a heavy hitter. Okay. Uh, this okay. is one that we know a prototype existed of at one point. Um, Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, it never got made. But I think now the time is right to do it. So it is a set that I am calling Arrival on Installation 04. Obviously themed around Combat Evolved. Mm -hmm. But this particular version would be Combat Evolved Anniversary. So it would include the Bumblebee Life Pod. Oh, yeah. With a terrain piece. So you have the option of displaying it as if it has crashed into the terrain. Uh, figures wise, it would come with the Combat Evolved Master Chief, but I would want them to get a little bit creative with it because obviously we've already got that figure. So it would be a battle damaged version with maybe some like black scuff marks on it to simulate the crash. Mm-hmm. Uh, it would come with two Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary style Marines. So Dead they're Marines, basically, right? <laughs> oh, I mean, in, <laughs> in this scenario, they'd be alive. Okay. Um, so so they somehow would, they survived. Yes. <laughs> oh, they would be the Reach Army Trooper style, because I have a feeling we're going to be getting them soon anyway. So it makes sense. And then an Elite Major. Uh, when I say Elite Major, this would go back to the classic combat evolved, where it would be a combat elite similar to obviously the one from the clash on the ring blind bags Mm -hmm. but in the color red um so in terms of accessories you would get two ma5 assault rifles so that would be the current sculpt not the new sculpt for infinite Mm -hmm. you would get a tactical shotgun and a plasma rifle the peace count uh, as well as the terrain crash site area i've put so you'd get like some little bits of rubble and stuff on that terrain uh, the piece count, you're looking at around 700 pieces. Oh, and I priced sense. it up compared to the broadsword, so it would be about 60 pounds. Okay. What's that translate to dollars for our U.S. listeners and viewers? Uh, Mega translate their prices broadly across the spectrum, so it would be $60 as well. They don't oh, do what? any like conversions. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are you going to include a pilot with the Bumblebee Life Pod? Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. A dead pilot? Quite possibly. Yeah. We, we rarely get pilots. I think that would be a good inclusion. Yeah. The hell I, am I know. We're landing on it, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> and it would be a cool opportunity to get it. that really unique Combat Evolved Anniversary helmet, actually. So, yeah. I love it. Well, it sort of out strong. Very nice. <laughs> uh, Matt, what do you have to share? All right, so this set is probably connected to one of the most influential factions of the Halo universe. You only get to see him for a little bit, but his presence shapes a lot of the Halo. It would be the Gravemind. And so I'm thinking about having a Gravemind build set. And so this one, obviously, you get to see him in Halo 2. You don't Uh see him in Halo 3. So anniversary uh, version? 
anniversary version probably would probably be the best. I don't like yeah. the poison ivy plant looking thing. That, <laughs> um, <laughs> and so then I think it's in Grave Mind and maybe Sacred uh, Icon are the the missions that they're in. Uh-huh. Um, figures I would probably just have the figures from the cutscene. So I'd include Chief Arbiter, the Prophet yeah. of Regret, and then the Oracle for Hel- Delta Halo. Oh, that'd be and cool. I'd have a a bunch of little like flood looking stuff around it so you're able to kind of you know make it because i mean the area that that cutscene's in is kind of dark and stuff so i would just kind of add a little bit of flood i wouldn't make them too big but i'd make it like kind of like a, a similar to like how lego does their snakes mm-hmm. and then just kind of overlap it and then uh maybe tone down the teeth a little bit because that always looked weird um and so i would say pieces wise i would say probably about 250 to maybe 300 on the pieces okay so and, smaller set yeah i would say smaller a smaller build. set because i don't think it, it, the grave mine isn't like i don't want to make him too big mm-hmm. i don't want to make him like you know as tall as the mammoth but i guess he would be maybe a little bigger but i thought maybe a good price point for that would be 45 to 50 okay very nice i like that all right sal do you have something for us Sure. Well, I got a bunch of stuff, but uh, I'll, I'll get <laughs> one. <clears throat> so uh, for me, uh, one of the really desired sets was uh, that I wish they would have made, and I still hope they do, is Halo Wars 2 Blister Back. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I really thought that that set was going to be made, and uh, there's been a couple of really awesome fan-made ones out there. Uh, I've, I've highlighted uh, one of them on my site uh that set was just uh, you know uh, uh, it pains me that it's still not made i it mm-hmm. just it, it's one of those very unique vehicles uh you know special to halo wars 2 and considering that you know mega started with the halo wars license uh i think this would have just been a, a fantastic opportunity for them to make that my hope is that if we see the banished as uh, as an enemy in infinite that the blister bag has an opportunity to make an appearance and then as a set as well. Um, as far as piece count, uh, I think this would have to be a pretty big set considering, uh, you know, that it's, it's a fairly large vehicle, but also all the, all the detail that would come with it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So piece count, I would probably put at least, you know, anywhere between, uh, uh, 750 to a thousand. Uh, so with that, then the price would have to be, uh, between eighty to a hundred dollars uh, on that. Uh, as far as figures go, um, uh, I I really want to see more jump pack brutes. Uh, we only got that in in one set so far, and it was a very hard set to find. Uh, and that was uh, a, a what was it? The UNSC turret takedown. Um, and that set was uh, it was supposed to have been released mass retail. But um, very hard to find. In fact, I had to get mine from a buddy that was in Mexico. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so to see more jump pack brutes, yeah, I'd like to see those uh, in that set. Um, and you know, maybe uh, maybe a couple of grunts. You know, because it's such a large set, as long as they give us a few army builders in there, I'd like to see maybe four or five figures. Uh, and like I say, let let those be uh, army builders um, with that, and all banished uh, themed. I like it. Very nice. Okay, I will go. I'm looking at mine. I'm like, I kind of have a theme on mine, but I I, kind of, I I want to do more of the larger like model type sets so that you can display. And so number five for me is the Cryptum from Halo Four. Ooh, nice, nice. Yeah, I think that would be pretty rad. Somehow in my in my vision, it would be the full Cryptum. It wouldn't be to scale, obviously. The thing's giant, but it would be a Cryptum with a little door that can open up in the front. And then the figures that I would include are Didact, Librarian. Yes, um, Librarian. We need her. Yes, we yep. need Librarian in that. Um, some uh, The version of Cortana that is, like, she's having a hard time, like, not fully rampant, like the the one we got recently, the, the red Cortana. But maybe there'd be a way that they can, you know, within the figure, kind of have her kind of phasing in and phasing out, you know, when she freaks out in Halo 4. They have that done be- that before. Um, oh, they have? Oh, yeah, a while back, not with Cortana, but they did um, phasing brute stalkers that were half normal coloured figures, half into active camo. Okay, so mm-hmm. kind of like Jewel, Jewel and Donna, I think. His yeah, yeah, exactly like, like that. that. Yeah. yeah, so that'd be kind of rad if they figured out a way to do that. 
Um, and then Chief obviously would need to be in there as well. Um, I put that at about, I don't know, nine, I'm not, I'm not going to be good at my piece counter, my prices. So, <laughs> so about 900 ish. So it's a pretty decent sized beast. Um, and I, that would be around 75 bucks, I think somewhere in that, in that range. But, um, yeah, that would be a, a fun set to have and just a display piece. Nice. So are you going with the red Cryptum or the blue one from Halo 5? The red one because of the Didact? Yeah, it'd have to be because Didact would be activated. He would be in charge of it, right? So yeah. it'd have to be red. Or is mm-hmm. it interchangeable? Mm. <laughs> Somehow, that would be cool to have that different pieces, that like different colored pieces that you could make it glow. Ooh, I like that. Because doesn't it, doesn't the, does the Cryptum blue right away in Halo 4? Or is it always red? It, it's blue in Halo 5. It's only blue in Halo 5, okay, yeah. But I guess, yeah. yeah. All right, let's go on to back to Tom. What do you have? Okay, so Sal, you're going to love this one because it is an Omni Builder one. Um, So obviously I keep talking about how I want to see more Halo Reach stuff. And I was kind of having to think about this. And I was like, well, we've already got super articulated brutes. It seems quite logical that they're going to go and eventually do Reach style brutes at some point. So I was like, okay, so how could they release this in an easily accessible manner that lots of people are going to like? So I came up with New Alexandria Evacuation. It is a set with 100 pieces. It retails for $15 or £15. um, Mm -hmm. And it would come with two ODST bullfrog figures, a brute miner in the Reach style in Super Articulation, and a brute major in the reach style in super articulation, I and would come. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I, I highly approve. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I go. like to hear. Um, and it would come with an MA thirty seven, a Spanker rocket launcher because we haven't seen that apart from in the blind bags recently, a jetpack, a spiker, a plasma repeater. And the build would be one of the smaller scale uh, Covenant pylons that you usually see alongside the Covenant barriers. Oh, yeah. Mm. Okay. I like that. I dig it. Very nice. Um, Matt, what do you have? Okay. So this one does have a twin. It's from a Reach set, but um, the one I'm going with would be the Covenant Type 27 Anti-Aircraft Cannon. It is nicknamed the Mantis. You can find this set in Halo 3. It's in the Storm, and you can find it on the Ark, or at least one that's being constructed. So this is kind of like the Halo Reach turret, but it's got the legs on it. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot higher up. And I've always kind of preferred that because I've liked the idea of playing under it, whereas the Reach one, it never felt really accessible. Like, you couldn't really get in there. Mm -hmm. So this one will allow you to kind of have a bit more playability around it, and it's got the kind of leg formations. Uh, figures, I would probably say two ODSTs, a Brute Minor, Brute Major, and a Jackal. I would probably give the ODSTs just regular SMGs. Brute Major, I'd give a Brute Shot, Brute Minor, probably a Red Plasma Rifle, and then the Jackal, standard you know, uh, shield and plasma pistol. And then I would... Also include for the accessories, I'd probably throw in a bubble shield, but I'd throw in like the Halo 3 color bubble shield, not just the like the, the gold, mm. goldish clear one, because I know we don't really have that. We have a lot of the we have a lot of the reach solid blue ones. And then I'd throw in a lot of the sand platforms just so you can kind of play around it. And mm-hmm. maybe a mongoose or a destroyed mongoose on the side. So because yeah. I was basing this off of like the the reach set, um, which was I think about 650 pieces. I'd say this one's probably about seven, seven fifty, and then I'd go eighty to ninety dollars on the price range. Very nice. I like it. All right, back to Sal. Okay, this one I hope you guys will like. Uh, this is a signature series set. Oh, big boy. Okay, <laughs> cool. <laughs> Halo ring. Yeah. Oh yes. We need yes. a, a, we need a really good Halo ring. We do, um, and we just haven't had anything like that. Um, obviously, you know it's not going to be figure scale, but it would still be pretty big. Um, I have it as being uh, roughly about 14 inches in uh, in diameter. Oh, okay, yeah, so that's big. It, it's it's yeah, it would be a good size. Um, uh, as far as piece count goes. 
I would want it to have a lot of detail and you have to consider that within the ring, you know, the inside part where you see the land and the water, I'd want to see a lot of nice detail in there. Uh, so I would probably put this, this piece count somewhere in the neighborhood of about 2000. Yeah. Um, you know, again, there's going to, there's got to be a ton of detail to that. Um, and it would come so that you could put it onto a stand itself that could hold the ring so that the ring is standing up. You know, um, as far as figures go, how, wait, how, so how, how many plates do you envision like the thickness of this thing? Oh gosh. It'd have to be like probably three or four, well, it'd be probably four, I mean, at least four plates, probably thick. Well, there's imagine. plates and then there's bricks, you know, one brick yeah. is three plates thick. Right. So, um, you know, I would say, let me approximate, I would say probably at least I would say two bricks thick. Two bricks, so six plates. Six plates mm -hmm. at its thickest. Yeah. You know? That'd be enough so you could actually show some detail, I think. Yeah. Um, and you want to be able to see, you know, the under you know, the the out the outer shell of the of the halo ring itself too and all that detail. And the good thing about that is there would be a lot of repetitive build for, for the outside shell. Mm -hmm. So you could build the you could build the outside shell uh and then, and you could have that pretty much lined out so that it has hinge pieces and it would be one big long line. And then oh. you, you build the interior on top of that. And then at the end, then you curve it together and you clamp together at the end. That's cool. So it yeah. makes it easy to build, you know? And then I think maybe at the very end, after you've, after you've put it all together like that, then to cover over some of those gaps was where, is where you would add a couple other pieces on at the end. But this way, you know, makes it easy to build from the very beginning. Um, as far as figures, we absolutely need to finally have all four Halo 3 co-op characters. We already have Chief. Oh, yeah. We already yeah. have uh, the Arbiter. But we need to have Uzi uh, Tom and Antho Saram as well. Yeah. Uh, you know, we've totally not had those as names <laughs> here. And I would like to see those done. I mean, we've had kind of versions of those, and they were done in the old articulation, but they were never named that. So now if we actually got to see these two figures named with the proper, or proper you know, uh, articulation, uh, I think those would be just fantastic. Now, if they want to toss in a Cortana... And uh, and maybe you know a, a maddened uh, guilty spark as well. That would be fantastic. But uh, I'd like to see those. And then, of course, the standard weapons that would just go with the figures. You know, yeah. so, you know, assault rifle, energy sword, uh, you know, carbine, that kind of thing. Very nice. Uh, as far as as far as cost goes, um, I could see that being uh, easily, uh, you know, about a hundred and fifty to a two hundred dollar set because of the piece count. Yep. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So I, I have one like. Good. I was going to say I really like the idea of a halo ring as well because you could even do something where you could use jumpers on one of the portions and then have it so you can actually pull off bits of the surface like in Halo Wars 2. That sure. would be really cool. Well, I also had an idea on this that you could have a uh, uh, a break uh, a break apart piece. You know, so you yeah. could you could build it so that you have uh, you know the full halo ring or uh, that you could have part of it disassembled off of it so that it looks like, you know, where a chunk was, the chunk was uh, blown off of it, you know, when, yeah. uh, you know, when it got crashed into and so on. Or well, it, it, where it got exploded, you know. Funny you say that because that's one of my ideas. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Look at that segue <laughs> into it. Um, so I, I, mine isn't necessarily bl the blown out piece, but I do like that idea. Mine was just a cross section of... A, a halo similar to what you saw at outpost discovery if anybody um sure went yeah. to that so oh, just, just okay. a, a section of it right not the whole ring but just a good section that would be able to show some decent detailing it, and you could it would have a decent a decent size it wouldn't be a signature set size but still it would be a a, a good sized chunk of the of the halo ring um and but my game it would be from halo infinite because that trailer has got a big chunk out of it, right? Mm -hmm. The Halo does. That's Zeta Halo. Nice. So it could be the Halo Infinite chunk. Um, and Zeta Halo, we would have uh, Chief. We'd have Evil Cortana, which is her, like her dressed up self from Halo 5. You know, we, who knows? we definitely. Yeah. yeah. 
yet. Um, you know, we don't know what, what she's going to look like in, in Infinite yet. And then Halsey. Like, those are the three key characters, right? Chief, I mean, yeah. Cortana, and Halsey. It all comes back to them. You know, um, you, if I can add to that then. Yeah. So I think a, a cool feature, if they were to do a, a chunk piece like that, is that if you were to buy multiples of that set, that they could connect. Mm-hmm. And they could make a full Halo ring out of them if you really wanted to. So that maybe... Maybe say the chunk is maybe an eighth. So if you bought eight of those sets, you could build a full ring. I love that. I love that so much. Cause, and that would be a good way to suck some money out of people. Yeah, too. yeah. <laughs> and then, you know, and then it would be up to you to change the interior bits, you know, to, you know, the land parts on it, you know? Uh-huh. Yeah, I love it. So my, I, and I was thinking this would be about 50 bucks. So if we did eight of them, you'd be, you'd be racking it up, but there'd be people that would do that thing. For, oh, for oh, sure. for sure. For sure, Absolutely. <laughs> and I'm thinking of like around 600 pieces because kind of my my guessment on that. But yeah, that's cool. I, I love that too. Was did either of you guys have a, a Halo ring in your list? Matt? I did not. I figured it would probably be picked, but I was actually thinking that maybe you should, uh, since it's a Halo ring for the figures, you should add more of the Forerunner characters. So maybe like the Master Builder, okay, the Librarian. Yeah. Just kind of throw those cool. guys in there because I mean, like, I would love a master builder figure. Mm-hmm. I, I forgot to mention yeah. it. Fine, um, I forgot to mention this because I even have it written down on it. It's totally boot past it. Beyond the figures, I would also like to see them do. You know how they're doing the miniature ships as well. Oh, I'd yep. also like to see them do a miniature Pillar of Autumn, a miniature CSO cruiser, and a miniature High Charity. Oh, that would be cool. We actually spoke about stuff like this in our last episode, and we were saying, imagine if they did a series of ships that came with, like, the captain of the ship as model sets, similar to when they were doing fleet battles. Yeah. It'd be something really cool. Yeah, I love it. That All right, let's, let's keep her going here. So, Tom, what do you have next? <clears throat> okay, so this set is a remake of a Halo Wars set. It is one that I always wanted to pick up and never got around to, and I just think that now the time is right to redo this set. It's quite a small set, but it's a cool, unique UNSC vehicle. Uh, It is the Gremlin, and this Mm -hmm. set would be UNSC Gremlin Assault. So it would come with a modern coloured UNSC Gremlin and one of the forerunner power structures from Halo Wars. Um, In terms of the figures that would come with this set, you would get Professor Anders, a Halo Wars Marine, And a super articulated hunter, but with the hunter we would do something creative that Mega do sometimes, where it would actually be one of the Warzone variants from Halo 5, so kind of an amalgamation of two different games. Yeah. Um, Hmm. In terms of the accessories, you would get a Magnum, a shotgun, and a data pad. The piece count would be between 300 and 400 pieces, and the retail price would be between 30 and 40 pounds. I like that. I like reasonable. It. We need Anders for sure. Yeah, we do. I love it. Yeah, my, so my, like a redo of the Gremlin. Uh, and the Gremlin's a cool looking vehicle. It's a really cool vehicle. So <laughs> I like it. Go ahead, Sal. No, no, that's fine. Uh, my hope there is that since we saw at the end of Halo Wars 2, Anders was on a Halo ring and she stopped by a Guardian, that yeah. if we see, uh, you know, Cortana and uh, and her lot in in Halo Infinite, that perhaps that will actually play into it. So Anders and maybe you know, Cap, you know, Captain Cutter and all them will actually become part of Infinite as well. So perhaps we might see Anders as a figure. Mm. That'd be really mm-hmm. cool. Yeah, mm-hmm. this is what I've been saying. I think now is the time to bring the Spirit of Fire back into the fold with everything. Don't, don't you talk about that? That's one of my choices. <laughs> 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 He just mentioned the ship. <laughs> All right, so let's go over to Matt. Okay, so I have decided to go with the Winter Class Light Prowler, also called Wonder Woman's Invisible Jet. Uh, <laughs> um, so I'm going to go with that one. You can see this one comes in, I think, Halo 5. It's it's in blue team, and then there's a level oh, where it's on Meridian yeah. mm-hmm. with where Osiris goes and checks it out. So... I decided that I'd probably just go with maybe uh, Argent Moon Escape would be the name of the set. And so you get the the Prowler, maybe like a little landing pad with some data and stuff. And for figures, I'd have Chief, 
Fred, Kelly, and Linda. I'd have them come with all their standard weapons that they always bring with them. Mm -hmm. And so because the Pelican uh, for Halo 4 was, I think, 1,100 pieces around there, I'd probably make the Prowler just a little bit bigger. So I'd probably go 1,200, 1,300 pieces. And I'd probably put the price range around 120, maybe 130. Ooh, it's a big boy. Nice. That's a cool set because Prowler is big, like, extended lore. Exactly. Prowlers are in there, so... And there's fun to find to see it in Halo 5. Tons of different versions of them. Mm-hmm. I'm That's always hilarious. very partial to the one we see in. Um, oh, I've got to get the name right because I got it wrong last time. The package? Yeah. The one where like the booster frames come out the bottom. I think that design's really cool. Very nice. The pack. Oh, oh, okay. Yep, yep. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's keep it rolling with Sal. Your next one. Well, obviously, uh, as mentioned, the Spirit of Fire, uh, <laughs> signature series set, uh, and uh, I, I'm really partial to large starships. Uh, so for me, this would just th- this one just screams to be done as a signature series. I was really hoping that that was going to be made for Halo Wars Two as a signature series set. So again, if this makes an appearance for Halo Infinite, I definitely think that uh the spirit of fire then needs to be made but even yeah. if it doesn't make uh, even if it's not in infinite i still think that um you know it's unique profile it's uh it's uh importance in the story of halo uh you know says that it, it should be done as a set um uh for peace count again it's a it's a really large set tons of uh you know details on that uh, again, I would put this one, uh, another one close to 2,000 pieces, if not maybe a little more. Uh, as far as uh, figures go, uh, I was going to say Anders, but since you mentioned Anders, that's fine. Um, I would like to see, a, I'd like to see a, a redo version of uh, Sergeant Forge, uh, another version of uh, Captain Cutter, and uh, and then Red Team, for sure. Yeah, uh, yeah. Perhaps... We could also get, um, oh, why is her name escaping me now? The AI from Halo Wars 2. Oh, Serena? Isabel. Isabel. Isabel, Isabel yes. Yeah. A figure size, not the micro, micro one, but an actual figure size of, oh, yeah. of Isabel. I'd like to see. Now, beyond that, I'd also like to see uh, a miniature, uh, the, the miniature, the, the ships that brought the, the bases down to the planet. Oh, yes. yeah as well because because that's actually they're actually attached to the ship so if we could get a few of those you know that would be fantastic yeah so, you know so for me that that's probably the highest on my wants as far as big sets goes spirit of fire bar none yeah we need one yeah it's beautiful and i think the idea of the smaller ships is feasible because as we all know it was originally planned for the infinity until they changed the design so mm-hmm. it's definitely something that they've toyed with mm-hmm. speaking of the infinity too um you guys do know that you can fit the uh the the paris class fr- frigate into the belly of the infinite right yeah i saw that in your review it's really cool that that space is still there yeah so yeah that's pretty cool so yeah that's my idea i love it all right, I will go similar along similar lines um, and another display piece. All, these, all mine have been display pieces so far. Let's get an arc. Give me an arc. Give me Installation Ooh. Zero Zero from Halo Wars 2. I want that. Um, I don't know how they would build it, but I think it would be an amazing piece to build. Um, I think we haven't... I need, I need Atri- another Atriox in my life because I'm a big Atriox <laughs> fan. So give me Atriox. <laughs> We already have Decimus, we already have Let, but we don't have Pavium or Vortius or Vortus. So give me those two guys. Um, and I'm then just... go ahead. No, go ahead. No, I was just oh. saying absolutely. I'm yeah. The and then um, this is there's there's too many figures in this, but I need them all. So um, give me another cutter, give me an updated cutter, give me an Anders. Again, lots of Anders in our lists. Um, and then you I guess you gotta throw in all a red team, right? Or you could throw in well, I mean, we have all of Red Team. They all exist, but there's only one signature series of Jerome. But yeah, give me all Red Team, too. Throw them all in there. What is that, six figures? <laughs> can do that. Um, that's going to be a big set. I, I mean, it would probably be a signature series set, um, but I don't have it priced that way or piece piece counted that way. So I'm thinking around 100 bucks. 
um, that I, I don't know if because because these this, these type of display pieces are more for like people that are into just having not like it's more of a collector piece, right? So I feel like I don't know how far you can go up on that on that price range for for those people or for it for it to be a, a decent you know success for Mega. So uh, I'll put it at around 100 bucks and about 1,200 pieces on that. Nice. nice. The only thing I would say is throw in a Let Belair. Yeah. <laughs> just throw in one for Matt. Yeah, thank you. Just pour one out. <laughs> All right, Tom, back to you. Okay, so I'm going to set the scene a little bit for this one. Imagine you're walking through some woods and you come across a strange structure that's shooting light into the sky. And as you walk up to this structure, a marine sprints over to you and says, Sir, before I saw you, I wasn't sure we'd make it. That <laughs> is the premise for Survivor Showdown which is an £100 set with between 900 and 1,100 pieces that remakes that first iconic Forerunner structure from mm -hmm. Halo Combat Evolved. So the figures that would come in this set are the Combat Evolved version of Sergeant Johnson, a Combat Evolved Marine, a Combat Evolved UNSC Technician for you, Matt. I know you want them. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> a Combat Evolved Grunt Major, which, as I showed you guys a while back, you can already make just by part swapping with the Banished Grunt figure. And two Jackal Miners. And okay. the accessories here would be two of the MA5, a Magnum, two Plasma Pistols, two Jackal Shields, a Needler, a Printed Health Pack, and two of the smaller style UNSC crates in the new metallic green color. Very nice. I like the health pack edition. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> All back. There's only been a couple health packs, right? I know there's one in the floodgate. Yeah, there's it? yeah, they've been um they came in a couple of the smaller armory sets back when okay. they were a thing. Um, Very nice. Did you have a price count for that? Yeah, count? it will be between 900 and 1,100 pieces. Yeah. Very nice. I love it. Nice. That structure is, yeah, very iconic. And do we even know what that thing does, <laughs> by the <laughs> way? It transports energy it's a from pulse one thing. end of Halo to the other. Yeah. Yeah. It looks uh, like we may find out more in Infinite as well. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you know, the, the cool thing about that, too, is uh, people could use that to rebuild to make... Uh, the ones from uh, uh, the map Valhalla. Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, so they could make their own diorama with that too. So Sal, you'll probably remember this, and I don't know if Matt and Colin have been around long enough for this, but there was a prototype of that at one point as well, yes. so it's definitely feasible. Absolutely. Very cool. All right, let's keep going with Matt. Okay, so Tom stole my design, and he stole my set. I was also <laughs> going to go with the Alpha Halo Beam Emitter. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I really wow. love this set because I think it kind of just touches on just the, like the awesomeness of when you first play that Halo mission. Mm -hmm. um, I would make a couple of different tweaks though because I would put it in the Combat Evolve style, but I would also include the um, the Reach multiplayer map design where it has the internal entrance at the bottom, mm, okay, and, and then yeah. come up through the top. So I would include that. And I would actually throw in the Bumblebee lifeboat with this set Boy. <laughs> just so that you could actually kind of have the whole kind of the mood set. Um, mm -hmm. I would include way more combat uh, CE Marines, but that's because I just love their design. Um, <laughs> and I would have cheap and some grunts and elites. And my price point was pretty similar with Tom's. Awesome. Love it. Same wavelength. Oh, yeah. Because it's cool. a good set. All right, That's we got right. a couple left per person. So, so I think you should be down to two, right? This is your second to last? That's right. Okay, um, what you got? Okay, so now this isn't a set per se. It's actually, this is, a, I want to throw in like a couple of things together to, and explain it. So this is just figures um, that I've, I'd like to see done that haven't been made before. So uh, Lord Hood, Miranda Keys, yes. a buildable warden internal it's got to be big and it can't be just like a figure it's got to be buildable yes and then i also would really like to see brutes rescaled so that they're the proper size 
Yeah, that would be great. Mm-hmm. You know, I see quite a few people asking for this, like using the cod legs or something to add a little bit more oh, height. Oh, to them. oh, bigger than that, bigger man. than that. Oh, yeah, right. than that. <laughs> so, what I'm looking at, what I'm looking at is uh, if you guys have bought uh, any of the Destiny figure sets, the Cabal figure. Yes. Yes. Oh, that, right. Yeah. They could use that as as a scale size, and I think mm-hmm. that would work perfectly because I actually have. In development, but it's been there for a while. I, I kind of go back and forth on this. A uh, a cabal-sized uh, Atriox. Uh, and speaking my language. <laughs> that's the size brutes that I want to see. You know, I want to see ones that are that are truly that you know that scale. Uh, so you know, like I said, Lord Lord Hood, we need to see that. And they kind of have a figure yep. that kind that could kind of work. That was from uh, uh, what was it? Um, what was the figure that you, I think was it Forward Unto Dawn? Forward Unto Dawn, yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. So they could kind of use that. Miranda Keys would be pretty easy. They could use a, a Halsey figure and, and change that up some. Uh, the Buildable Warden Eternal, and it has to come with with his sword, you know, the, yeah. the large sword. And like I said, the rescaled boots. So the, the not, it's not really sets per se, but just like, uh, you know, ideas for. Uh, for uh, the heroes line or blind ba- blind bag lines. So. Yep, love it. Very nice. The um, the you're gonna make me go buy some cabal now. Has anybody done custom <laughs> like scaled brutes? I'm sure somebody's done it, right? Not not cabal size. I've oh, seen custom perfect. brutes. I've seen custom brutes done where people have extended the legs, extended the arms, and 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 they work as far as height goes. But that bulk just still doesn't seem to be there. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, I like it. All right, so I'll I'll go. You you actually we've rolled into ideas a couple times now. So my my second to last, my uh, penultimate pick is the Warden Eternal. Give me a Warden Eternal, buildable. Yeah. Ooh, yes. Buildable set, not not as big as the one the Master Chief that we mentioned. Um, the the buildable Master Chief that we have, but it's to scale. So so figure out how to scale. I think he's what is he like twenty feet tall or something like that. And I know he's bigger than Didact. He's pretty big, so yeah. give me pretty tall guy. Yeah, give me that, and there should be there should be enough like scale height to to be able to put him together. So he would um, be about seven inches tall. Okay. To scale, with the figures. With the with the current figures, so it w- would it be bigger than our our um, exosuits? Because it could almost be yeah. even just that scale. No, it would be bigger than the exosuits. It would be bigger than that. Okay. Absolutely. So give me, so give me that from uh, you know he's in Halo Five, obviously, and then you can pair him with some some Promethean. It'd be a whole like Promethean pack. So pair him with the the new knights, and you could somehow figure out a way to like peel that armor off of the knights. You know when you destroy, you know they have that Ooh, little glowy thing at the back. Battle damage would be awesome. Yeah. That'd be really good. Right? Yeah. Um, throw awesome. me a Watcher in there just because you know we all hate Watchers. Um, and then you need a, at least a soldier and then maybe a couple crawlers in there. Oh, oh, let me, let me add to that. Let me add to that. Yeah. We need to have the Promethean officer, the one that has the yes. light, the, the, the light, turret. um, turret. Yes. We don't have that one yet. And it's actually a little taller than the soldiers as well. So I would really, I would love to see that. So yeah, if we're going to do a warden eternal, give us some of those as well. Yep. I'm all about that. So you might have maybe knocked up my price a little bit. Maybe it's forty five now. I was thinking forty. But, <laughs> um, so like probably around I don't know. I don't know how many pieces. It's a big figure pack, so it's probably going to be between three hundred and four hundred pieces, I would think. Yeah. But it just depends on on the build. I feel All like right. You take but, this because I'm going to knock up your price point even more. <laughs> but could you do it so it comes with like a little buildable stand based on the boss battle with him when you're going to pursue Cortana? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, you could definitely do that. I like it. <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right, let's 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 wrap it up. Our final pick for everybody here. Tom, what's your number one pick? Okay, Matt, I have a horrible feeling I may be about to steal your thunder again. You, so you I'm do, going to I swear. apologize in advance. But my number one pick has to be the Covenant CCS class cruiser. Um purely because i don't understand how we haven't seen it yet it's such yeah. an iconic ship um and the one i would go with would be the truth and reconciliation purely mm-hmm. because we spend so much time inside this vessel that i think that it has all of the potential to be a really good signature series set so the interior would be three rooms you would have the bridge 
an armory with lots of covenant weapons inside and then the jail cell is where you find captain keys and this then leads on to the figures which would be captain keys a gold elite zealot a ce marine flood combat form and an elite combat form and the combat forms tie into another feature with this set which would be the fact that it would have removable pieces to kind of make the interior and some of the exterior of the ship look like it had been infected by the flood. That and is brilliant. as a part of that, it would include the piece that was included with the original keys to begin his transformation into the grave mind, but would have more pieces that you could put on the figure to have him in a fixed position inside the ship somewhere. So obviously big set, you're looking at over 2000 pieces and I reckon it would be around £250. So going back to that initial forward unto dawn price point of a mm-hmm. really big set with lots of detail. Love it. Very That's nice. Nice. Uh, well described, too. I think that would be... <laughs> we need a big... You know, we have the big UNSC ship, so we need a big Covenant ship. I mean, yeah. we have the Spirit, but it's just... I mean, it's not, you know... It's not one it's of those. It's not a capital need, class. not a capital sure. ship. Exactly. You could, also, you could also do a capital ship one, too, but have it break apart and then... You know, so like it simulates, you know, the destruction on reach, the the cruiser. But what I would add is a separate little compartment, like a living compartment for George, because when he transported with his slip space, <laughs> oh, yeah. living in the cruiser. <laughs> yep. yep. That's George is alive. We could finally alive. get his unhelmeted head sculpt. Exactly. This, well, I mean, <laughs> it'd be a little difficult because he'd probably explode if he took his helmet off. But yeah, that's yeah. True. That's what he's I'm just about. floating in slip space. I love it. He yeah, he didn't he die. Was, he was he was teleported. You know that 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 rupture that rupture was a slip space rupture. He was teleported. Exactly. He's on the ark somewhere, man. He's alive. Don't don't yes. dead. Exactly. Oh, dead. Oh, Sal, you're gonna be Aaron Campbell's best friend now. That's I'm telling you, man. <laughs> if Johnson could survive Halo One, George can survive anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Matt. What do you have for your number one? Okay, pick? so thankfully, Tom, you did not steal my final pick. Okay, good. <laughs> so my ultimate set was the uh, the Beam Emitter. So this would be my probably my second one to the last. So this one is the Covenant's largest airborne deployment platform, also known as Type 56 Covenant Lich. Yeah. So you find this one in Halo 4. It'll be in the mission Reclaimer. You see it sometimes in Halo 5. And surprisingly, also in Fire Team Raven. I got mm-hmm. that your episode the other day. Yeah, uh, that's right. <laughs> so I would include Chief in the Halo 4 design. So he would have his nice little scar on his uh, torso. And then I would also include uh, Del Rio, two Storm Elites, oh. and a Grunt. Okay. And, uh, and a lot of the Halo 4 style jetpacks. I'd also throw in some Covenant Barriers. Um, some sand platforms, and then I would do um, some invisible pieces that you could keep the 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 lich up. But mm-hmm. I would also include like a, a green tunnel piece that was uh, translucent, but it was also you could actually like fit guys through it. Yeah, and then you could connect it from the bottom to the top. And so I would have like a little bit of a green grav lift there. Um, and I would probably probably want this set to be actually pretty big because you can move around in it. So. I'd say maybe 1,500 on, on a piece count, and I'd say probably that'd be at least 160, 180. So yeah. maybe I would want it to be like a little smaller than the Mammoth, but I would want it to be kind of comparable to it because, I mean, the best idea would be to put these kind of in like a diorama-type setting where you have the Lich and then the Mammoth next to it. I think that would look yeah. sweet. Yep, absolutely. Love it. Can That's I a, yeah. one figure, map. Do it. Halo Four style Spartan recruit with the yellow and steel markings. Oh yes, yeah. you're you're absolutely right. Long overdue. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that should have come with the mammoth, to be honest. Yep, yes. I agree. I thought of a lich as well, but it would have been the Halo Five lich, where you, you where it was a Locke and RB hanging out, you oh, know, okay, before yeah. the Battle of Sunion. Um, that would have been pretty rad, like that whole thing. You could actually include all of Osiris and then a couple of elites in there too. I was going to say, it would be really cool to get the combat elites in the Swords of Sanghelios colors because they looked really good in Halo 2 Anniversary. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. The cool things about Mega Construct is that you could have the same set, just paint it a different color, and I'd still buy it because it's a totally different, <laughs> it has a totally different meaning, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. right. oh, that's that's not the typical Lich. That's the Arbiter Kyle Lich. 
Yeah, exactly. Well, this, that kind of lends itself nicely to a whole other thing that I'm surprised we haven't seen yet, which is a lot more of the wreck vehicles. Like, I would happily pay for variants of the Wasp, the Warthogs, as long as you give me some really cool printed camo on them. I'm absolutely buying them. Mm-hmm. The Grunt Goblin? Yeah, I mean, yeah, even that set, that was quite a nice small set where I could have easily seen them putting out, like, two variations of it at the same time with different figures, kind of like they do with the Destiny um, Sparrowhawks. That would have been really cool to see. Mega used to do that a lot more back in the day. Now it seems kind of like one color, one set. Well, it's also, we're five years from Halo 5, so maybe (laughs) we'll see that after Infinite releases. All right, Sal, give it to us. Okay, well... Real, real quick, so just going back, you mentioned the Wasp. That's one set, of all the sets I reviewed, that's one set that I think needs to be redone. Yeah. I was not happy with the Wasp. Okay. Um, mostly because of how the wing, wing design was, especially towards the rear. It just felt like an incomplete set to me. So that that set, I think, really needs to be redone and given justice to um, I was excited for it, but then when I finally saw it and then when I got it, that was, I, I don't usually give bad reviews and that unfortunately was one that, um, I wasn't so nice about because mm. yeah, wasn't very happy with it. But anyways, um, now I didn't number order mine. So like what I'm going to give for my last one, isn't necessarily my top one. Okay. My top one was really the spirit of fire. Yeah. But, uh, but for my last entry, uh, I would say I would like to see more of the large scale buildable fig- figures like Master Chief, but now I'd like to see an Arbiter. Mm-hmm. I'd also like to see, you know, I'd like to see uh, large grunts, um, yeah, you know, other basic elites, you know, so basically a whole line that includes larger figures. It doesn't have to be every single character or every single figure that's ever shown, you know, in Halo, but certainly some of the more standard or iconic ones, um, you know, Arbiter definitely has to be done. Um, if you guys will remember from way back, they did do larger scale figures. They mm-hmm. had a Master Chief, kind of. They had an Arbiter. They had an ODST. They had some. Uh, they had some ones that also had uh, these magnetic uh, steel balls in them. Yep. That were buildable as well. So I'd like to now see on the order of the Master Chief that we have now a line of large scale figures as well. Um, and then I guess the only other part of that is um, years ago, we had the, uh, uh, the anniversary warthog set. I would really like to see a figure scale that could fit into that. Yeah. Ooh. That'd be cool. Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I have that. Yep. That, that yeah. would be cool. So would you, would you scale the arbiter to chief? Would, oh, like, would absolutely. They... He's got to be okay. taller for sure. Yeah. And then the yeah. grunt would be the appropriate size. I love yeah. it. I mean, yeah, they all have to be scales. You know, they all have to be in, in correlation to the size of chief. Mm-hmm. So whatever, whatever their scale size is by comparison, then they would have to be, you know, that I big can't chief. wait for the didact version. Then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, they wouldn't do that. <laughs> that would be, that would be pretty big. And a warden eternal as well. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay, all right, all right. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. You ready? So you know how in Marvel figures they have like a a body part. Yeah. Like Mattel did this, right? Yeah. So the body part figure. would be for the didact. If you buy all oh. five. Oh you get wow. Created nice. Them. That's something I'm really surprised Mega hasn't latched on to. You know, yeah. it, I mean that's a way to sell all the other sets. If you want to have this build a figure, you buy this set and it contains a leg. This set contains a torso. This set contains a head. I mean, that that I don't know. Perfect. That's a yeah, great that's idea. Beautiful. I think it should happen. Done. So I don't want to give you hope. And I don't think I can quote the person who told me this on podcast. But that chief figure came about because Target very specifically wanted an exclusive Mega Constructs Halo item that they could sell that other people wouldn't have. So that is why that special item was born in the first place, because obviously it's something that they've never really done before. Hmm. Um, And I think it has sold pretty well. Like, I've seen a lot of people buy it, so I wouldn't be surprised if Target wanted to continue that, which hopefully means we could get to see more. That'd be great. Love it. All right, I will bring us home, and uh, then we'll wrap. This has been a, this has been a fun one. Um, my number one pick, and I really want this desperately, 
because we need it and it's a big part of Halo lore is give me an engineer. Yes. Just an engineer. Yeah. <laughs> we need and you can make it from the Halo ODST era. You can kind of you can build it in with that. Um Oh, what's the what's the engineer in? Is it uh, sort of the V? Virgil. Right? Virgil. Give me Virgil. Just give me a Virgil pack. And so you can make it ODST. You have Buck, and you can have Dare in there. And then at Alpha, least... A, just the Alpha 9 set. All together. Yeah, re-release oh, Mickey. Cool. Give me cool. Mickey. Yeah, yes, the whole thing. Yes, Mickey. Um, you can throw a jump pack brute in there. So... Yeah, we need engineers, and I would I would have... I would buy, like, ten of them. Just engineers all over the place. Heck yeah, man. Um, then you... Know, you Go ahead. Oh no, I was just gonna say along that line. Then, since you're, you know, because that's not like a standard figure. Um, another one, not related to that, but how about a Moa? Can we finally get a Moa? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. We could all eat Moa burgers. It'd be great. I want a set of a Moa burger van. <laughs> it could come with the little, you know, you could actually have the 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 the, the Moa, uh, you know, food stand. You know, and then they have a couple of Moas, maybe a civilian worker there cooking up some burgers. Yeah, somebody <laughs> like a butcher, like oh, <laughs> maybe a cage. <laughs> and have like a little build to the side, a noble six in his cave. So he's coming out of the cave to get some dinner. There you go. <laughs> he survived too. <laughs> right. Um, with my engineer set, it would be mostly figures, but then you would have a little console that he can go and hack, right? Because that's, that's the engineer's thing. You'd be you'd be about twenty five bucks probably for an engineer because it could it could either be a figure but it would be fun if you could make it buildable but I don't um it's it'd be scaled wise it might be kind of tough to do that but e either way either a figure like a like a mold or a buildable engineer would be fantastic about twenty five okay. bucks for this thing. Let me throw nice. that out on that one then. Okay, so that could easily be uh, something that's kind of buildable where you have the body. And then the head would be like another piece. And they actually already have pieces that are similar to the tentacles. Um, back when they were doing Marvel figures, there was a, for Iron Man 2, there was a whiplash figure. And he had these whips. And there's a couple of figures and sets that have these whips. If they did that in the translucent blue, uh, like the engineer has, they could easily use those standard pieces as the tentacles for the uh, for the engineer as well yeah, so that easily could be done and then you could also have on top of that removable armor so that you could have an armored version and an unarmored version mm, i like it yeah like with the oh wait are you talking about like with the exploding vest that thing yes okay yep. yeah yeah mm. Very nice. And, you know, Matt it, it did our intro and he so he did his best on creating our little engineer. Um, yeah. And uh, he's that's our that's builds with blocks, by the way. A little inside baseball. That's our that's our mascot. And uh, yeah, I'd love to get an official version of it. So cool. All right. We have had a lot of fun. We run very long. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed this conversation. Well, thanks so much for joining us, Sal. This has been a really good conversation. Hopefully you can do this again. This Absolutely. has been fun to pick your brain and just kind of let our minds wander. And, and hopefully some, maybe some people at Omega are listening to this. We'd love to see some of these things come to life. Um, Tom, anything you want to mention before we close? I am very excited to open my Master Chief and Arbiter Bank. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, anything you want to say? Uh, I just wanted to say um, everybody that's been leaving some really nice comments on the videos um, and the podcast, thank you so much. It really means a lot that you guys are really liking the show. So thank you so much for the very kind and very insightful comments. Absolutely. Yeah, we've, yes. been, re we've been reading everything as uh, we've been um, – you know, producing these for you and taking, you know, feedback into consideration. So we want to, you know, we want to make this the best show that we can for you. So that will do it for our show. Thanks for joining Builds with Blocks. If you like the show, feel free to support Podcast Evolved on Patreon. Until next time, Evolved. 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 Yes.